Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, United States, and this is the channel Geology, Life, and Healing. And this is going to be dedicated for the life, for the how you can make your kutu shock easier, right? Or your kutu change process easier. So this experience is coming from 1996. So in that time, I was working in Lima, and I had a project, exploration project in Apurimac. So we have to fly from Lima to Cusco, and then by road, six hours uh, to the project. Cristo Rey was the project in the closest town. It was Chalhuahuacho. And um, everything was set up with two, uh, with two project geologists so we can switch, you know, 20 and 10, 20 and 10. And so there was always one geologist in the field. That was the idea. And uh, there was one point, and uh, the, uh, my partner in the project uh, was sent uh, to another project. So we got a short in people. And the senior geologist and the manager uh, tells me, hey, can you stay 20 days more? Because we don't have a person to replace you. Say, so, this is my project. Yes, I will do it. I will do it. So second month. Yeah, and the third month, the same thing. We don't have nobody to, to replace you. Can you stay another 20, 20 days? So the, the third month. So at the end of the third month, yeah, we completed all the drilling and everything. So the, uh, you know, the big buses in Lima, they decided, said, we are going to uh, leave the mining property. So we are going to... Uh, Return everything what we have uh, in the project to to Cusco, and you are gonna return to Lima. I said, what? <laughs> you know, we put a you know a, a electric engine to generate electricity. We put a, a the camp with hot water. We we had a chef. Uh, we have a um, rock cutter. We had a, you know everything what we needed, and we worked with the community. And there was a, a Taiwan watch. It was a, a small place with a medical doctor, and so we helped them to build and make it bigger. But because in case of uh, some emergency, we hope it's not going to happen, never an emergency, but if in case that we need it, we have to take it, you know, to, to the clinic. So uh, we work together with, uh, uh, with the clinic, we work with the community, we work with the people, and uh, the roads, we fix it, we fix the roads for, for the people that live around the, the, the project. So it was a lot of a good relationship, and the people like us, you know, we like them. And so at the end, they are telling me they are going to close the project. So yeah, I, I think it was the last three or four days when we, uh, you know, we separate everything that is going to Cusco and everything that is going well, when I stay in there, right, for the project. And I feel very sad and say, wow, what's happening, you know? I didn't know why I feel so sad. You know, there's a mountain, rocks and rivers, you know, people in there, but I feel sad that I was closing this project and I'm not going to return anymore. So later, I, years, uh, uh, later, I found out that uh, from the, this tourist mode in the honeymoon period I was in there, extended, extended, but never uh, get a shock, but I, ha I had the adaptation. So the final stage of uh, the uh, country shock process. So and that's why I feel sad that I, I, I left this project. And so once I left, I went to Lima, maybe two, two, three weeks later. So, and I started my new adaptation. So in that time, uh, I didn't have a wife, I was single. So nobody was expecting me. <laughs> so, which it was an advantage, but other people that they were married, you know, they, they, their wives, uh, they, they had uh, difficulties with the kids also, you know. It's a uh, yeah, very difficult situation, but in my case, it was exceptional. So nobody was waiting for me. And so I started again the um, adaptation of the good uh, uh, to change again in Lima and adapted maybe in two or three weeks again and uh, continue whatever it was my life. So uh, in this case, it's the same uh, like uh, in the previous uh, video. 
that staying in this uh, honeymoon period or uh, tourist mode, that's what I call, and uh, so you can go closer, closer to uh, level of uh, happiness to zero, but never zero, and then you can adapt and make it your adaptation, maybe in three, in my case, in three months, uh, I belong part of the land, part of the people, uh, and uh, uh, that I was there, and they became part of myself, so. Uh, and uh, that's the experience uh, how you can make it uh, easy you could do shock process and I hope this one helped you and uh, please subscribe and touch the bell so you'll be notified when the next video is going to show up thank you very much have a very good uh, afternoon or, or morning morning or whatever it is over there thank you enjoy bye bye bye